building that's more than a century old is facing the wrecking ball and a preservation group is attempting to prevent the demolition before it's too late. It is in bad shape and the nonprofit owners say liability outweighs restoration. Mike McKnight talks to both sides in this investigation only on six news. In 1909, funeral processions and loved ones decorating graves passed the Office of Forest Lawn Cemetery, but administration moved to a west entrance years ago, and the east gate closed for good as added security. That left more than a century-old building in its last days. The board is pretty adamant that the building needs to come down. Forest Lawn Executive Director Steve Brunken says... Destructive vandals with their graffiti have painted the building's obituary. That concerns us. What happens if they're in here and they have an accident of some kind, um, start a fire? What happens then? What's the liability on that to Forest Lawn? The director of Restoration Exchange Omaha says he just learned of the demolition plans about two weeks ago and is asking Forest Lawn for time to breathe life back into what he calls a historic Omaha building. Our plan is to create a trust and create an endowment to take care of this property. Whatever it looks like, we would just like the opportunity to sit down and visit with them. But it's too important of a structure to give up so easily. But trusting a trust that's yet to collect donations and grant money is not a chance Forest Lawn seems willing to take. If they had the money in hand now, you might think about it. The board might listen to their proposal, but who maintains it? who covers the utilities, the taxes, uh, the security on it. Reader has experience restoring historic Omaha buildings and says he needs for this one to get a reprieve. While the East Gate is closed, chained, and under lock and key, there's still a question of security. How do you keep vandals out of the building while money is being raised for the restoration process? Part of our plan would be to help them handle the security issue. Not an easy task since windows and doors sealed by Forest One maintenance staff have not stopped determined trespassers. There's been plenty of kids getting up on the fire escape trying to get upstairs and breaking in. But the preservationist says restoration could eventually bring celebrations of life to the cemetery building. A facility for people to have ceremonies and have lunches after a funeral. There's just so much opportunity. And so much liability, says the Forest Lawn Executive Director. It's in pretty sad shape. It's not worth saving. Brunken says a demolition contractor has been hired who must finish bigger jobs first before tearing down the old cemetery office building. Well, we'd like to have it done before Memorial Day. But Tim Reeder says the best way to honor Omaha's history is to bring the old cemetery office building back to life. On your side at Forest Lawn, Mike McKnight, 6 News. Now, the executive director of Forest Lawn tells Mike there is a way the old office building could be saved. But that's only if the preservation group can move it away from the cemetery. They're going to have to deal with asbestos and lead paint, which will take time, money, and permits. Now, Tim Reeder believes he can find a lot and raise roughly $50,000 to move the three-story brick building. And only if he can convince the cemetery board to delay demolition.